Hey there, everyone. Nicholas Detman here for another edition of the Detman Media Podcast, where we go over the latest in social media and digital marketing tips, trends, and analysis, as well as a look at SEO strategies, website design, and things of that nature, all in hopes of increasing your brand awareness on the web and in social media. And thanks a bunch for uh, joining me today. Happy New Year. Happy 2022 to you. Uh, We're a couple weeks in at this point as uh, I'm relaying this all to you. So hopefully 2022 is off to a good start for you. Just want to let you know that uh, today's podcast is sponsored by Five Star Complete Asphalt Services, a leader in asphalt repair and technology based in West Haven, New, New West Haven, Connecticut, and also supporting the New England area. Free estimates available at 475-414-0125. Again, 475-414-0125. Five Star Complete Asphalt Services, your leader in asphalt repair and technology based in southwest connecticut but also again covering the entire new england region again thanks man for joining the podcast here today from wherever you are listening again happy 2022 to you and again hopefully you are off to a good start so with that in mind we've got a lot of uh, new topics to cover here this in this edition of the podcast so let's jump right on into it so the first one i want to talk to you about is um is text messaging in your marketing strategy so later this year will be the 30th anniversary of the first short message service or text message. The date was, ni- uh, was December 3rd, 1992, and on that date, Neil Papworth, from his desktop computer, sent a SMS, or commonly known as a text message, Merry Christmas. Simple and short, but that started a whole new thing that uh, we... <laughs> A lot of us probably wouldn't even know where we are without it, and that's text messaging. And as you'd imagine, it's come a long way since then. So as now 22 is upon us, and we've got a couple weeks in, text messaging can be a key marketing tool with your digital marketing strategy overall and offer new ways to communicate and engage with your consumers uh, as those technologies continues to evolve. And statistics have shown that 98% of all text messages are opened, and 95% of those messages are open and responded to within three minutes of being delivered. So when taking those statistics and you compare them to emailing, the difference is more than noticeable for sure. Email open rates are, on average, in the neighborhood of 15 to 25%. And with the latest changes in privacy and privacy protection, those open rates are going to be harder to measure and going to be less accurate. Here are some other statistics to consider when you're, if you want to consider text messaging and marketing. 9 out of 10 consumers would like to communicate with businesses through text message, whether this be through sending alerts, appointment reminders, back and forth communication, and so forth. of customers would like special offers sent to them via text message, and the click rates, or the CTR, for those sorts of text messages are much higher at 19% compared to other marketing channels such as email marketing 4% and Facebook at 1%. And lastly, 74% of consumers prefer texting with businesses if a real person is texting back. So in other words, Text messaging is worth the, inv- the effort and investment if you haven't already taken a look at it. So you, there are some definitely um, a handful of tip, a uh, handful of uh, useful blogs on my blog at nicholasdetman.blogspot.com that can help offer some more insight regarding text messaging in your in your overall digital marketing strategy. Uh, The next topic I want to quickly go over is a story from brightlocal.com, and it uh, said that Google has confirmed um, its biggest local search algorithm update in about five years. A quote from the article by brightlocal.com says, Many local businesses have noticed huge fluctuations in their local search rankings over the last few weeks, with Google now confirming an important update to the algorithm. And the article continues, rolling out between, and this was November 30th and December 8th, the update has been named Vicinity by Sterling Sky. This is the largest change to the local algorithm since Possum in 2016 and has caused widespread ranking distribution. 
And Google via brightlocal.com said the update is, quote, named after the fact that it seems to primarily target proximity as a ranking factor. Again, although proximity has been long an important signal for local search results, it's also been the case that businesses can optimize to successfully rank far from their actual business location. And then, uh, just to finish off this thought here, so read through the vicinity update, Google now appears to be clamping down on this, which will naturally make local search results more relevant to the user. In terms of the benefit to businesses, this is going to give them a greater chance to rank well in relevant local searches, as they'll be competing less with businesses that are further away. And for me, who oversees a handful of local businesses, this is a very important thing because you, your primary target when in most cases unless you're the big box companies like a, a home depot or menards walmart um anything in between you're not really worried about s local search results you've got that brand recognition but if you're kind of one of those smaller businesses uh, especially community-based businesses um, having this uh, update in algorithm and local searches is, is a big plus and a big win uh, that will help people reach uh, their potential customers um, more effectively. So this is a this is a great update for people, again, who have community-based businesses. And then just want to look at the last topic here for today before I let you get going on uh, what you need to get done today. And it's uh, looking at what social media users want in 2022. I mean, we always are trying to figure out what is it that will generate interest what will grab people's attention in 2022 and you really don't need to look too far to realize what kind of growth video and social media has gone through especially over the last you know, 6 12 18 months and it started with tiktok and you've you've heard me talk about tiktok a number of times on this podcast and i blog about it uh, tiktok is really kind of in my opinion has really changed how social media is consumed um, and how content is produced. And then take a look at how some of the other social media platforms have responded. You've got Instagram Reels, you have Facebook Reels, Snapchat Spotlight, and those are just some of the, those examples. And according to a recent article by Sprout Social, and as you would imagine, video and social media will likely go hand in hand here in 2022. And social media, um, or looking at Sprout Social's social media uh, statistical highlights from that report uh, had a number of interesting bullet points and I'm going to hit on those here uh, for you for just a, just a moment. Um, more than half, and that's 54% of marketers say that video is the most valuable content type for achieving social media marketing goals. It definitely has kind of seen that trend over the last couple of years especially, but I think TikTok again really took it to another level and a lot of platforms were really kind of following their lead. Uh, video is also the most underutilized format across Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, comprising of 14%, 11%, and 5% respectively of each network's content. So those are platforms that are still kind of not getting the video traffic yet. But that's the key word, yet. As right now, TikTok kind of has that market under control, but you're certainly seeing Facebook and Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat uh, all trying to jump in on that trend. 93% of companies have acquired new customers via social media video. Half of social media users prefer video over other types of content. 85% of social media users want more video from brands. People share video content when friends twice as much as any other type of content. And 58% of viewers will watch the entirety of a business video if it's less than 60 seconds long. Now, we've always kind of heard that people these have kind of that short attention spans. But if you nail that right video, data is showing that that is getting people's attention and, and, willing, and they're willing to support a business uh, that puts that type of uh, content out there. So really a lot of great information uh, for you to consider as you move here into the next several weeks and months of 2022 to figure out how is the best reach uh, your customer base, whether those are new customers, uh, potential customers, or your current ones. So 
Really, thanks so much uh, for listening to today's podcast that wraps up the topics for today. Again, sponsored by Five Star Complete Asphalt Services, based in West Haven, Connecticut, an asphalt repair and technology leader serving Southwest Connecticut as well as the expanded New New England region. If you don't already, please feel free to head on over to the blog at nicholasdetman.blogspot.com. Head on over there, and when you do, if you haven't already, be sure to click on subscribe, and you can get the latest blog post delivered right to your email inbox. So until next time, everybody, have a take care, and uh, have yourself uh, a pleasant day. Bye-bye.